This is in transition. Donovan Mitchell cannot get over to P.J. Tucker, okay? Jared Allen's been standing here. Jared Allen should be the one coming over here, and Donovan Mitchell goes here. So we can actually have someone defend this ball screen. Again, if Donovan Mitchell's late, you throw matchups out the window in transition. Donovan Mitchell's got to take Joel Embiid. Jared Allen's got to come over here to guard this ball screen. Jared Allen's just standing guarding Joel Embiid while nobody's taking P.J. Tucker. So now you have no one to defend this ball screen. Cannot play off of James Harden. You know he is as good as anyone at the step back. You got to get up. It looks like Jared Allen's ready to double here. So just force him baseline, all right? Then this player steps in to guard Jared Allen's. Man, this player needs to get out. And then you rotate here if a skip pass is made. But I mean, <laughs> there you go. I mean, this is a mismatch on the perimeter. Evan Mobley against James Harden. I mean, most people guarding James Harden on the perimeter, it's a mismatch. You got to move in if you're Jared Allen right here. And Evan Mobley's got to move up. You got to force him into this help. I can stunt. I don't have to move my feet because I'm going to be in a wide base in the defensive stance, and I can easily recover. I mean, you're leaving Evan Mobley to just get destroyed. I, mean, I don't know what else there is to say. Evan Mobley does about everything you could possibly do wrong. First of all, you're in the gaps. Why are you not in a defensive stance? Wide base, okay? Defensive, that's not a defensive stance, okay? So that's problem number one. That's going to lead to problem number two, because look at this, the dribble's picked up. You should already now be flying out to Joel Embiid, okay? Look at how long it takes you to react. You you haven't moved, and that's because you're not in a defensive stance. Problem three, so now you're, you're, you're going to get beat. So your closeout needs to be to where there's help right here with Donovan Mitchell, okay? But instead, it's just the whole thing. It's just, it's just everything. Fully on Evan Mobley. All right, we got a turnover here. Philadelphia has the ball. Sprint back. Sprint back. Do not go towards the ball. We just lost you in numbers for no reason. On Jared Allen right here, okay? There can never be space between you and Joel Embiid. You've got to, as he's coming through, you got to battle for real estate and initiate contact. So much of your post defense is where he's catching the ball. That Jared Allen, look at this. You just let him catch the ball in the paint. So you, you know it's over now. It's horrific defense by Raul Nato, all right? If you want to be in the gaps, it's now. Back to the baseline, in a defensive stance, wide stance. Then Mobley can get up, force, uh, and be this way, and you can stunt without having to move your feet and recover. But look at Nato. He's not in the gaps except for, oh, now he's going to come now. One problem, the dribble's picked up, and there's no reason for you to be there. This is on Dean Wade. There is no screen set. NATO's through the screen. Okay, so please stay with your man. Why? What is Dean Wade doing here? Why are you stepping up here? NATO's guarding him. You got help right here. Why'd you just allow this? This is a disaster. James Harden, Evan Mobley on the perimeter. No, all right? Almost anyone guarding James Harden. You got to get in the gaps. What's NATO doing? Uh, right foot parallel to the block, left foot out wide stance. You can even get up the line a little bit. And then Mobley now can get up and force Harden into this help. I can stunt. I don't have to move my feet at all, so I'm going to be able to recover. But nope, you're just going to again let Evan Mobley get fried on the perimeter. You can't play off Joel Embiid, okay? So if you can't guard him, we have a double team here. Now this player needs to stick around. If you want to double from the baseline, fine. But get up and force him to the baseline. This player is... Uh, helping the helper right here. If a skip pass gets made, this player rotates here, this player here, and Jared Allen just comes up here. But you're playing off Joel Embiid. Look at why does he does not need any space on the floor that's just given to him. Darius Garland sinks down here, okay? To Jer he wants to help you. But Jared Allen, why are you playing off Embiid again? Get up, force Joel Embiid to go into this help. Why are you playing off and letting him just back you down away from that help? Classic right here. You cannot lean towards this ball screen. Look at this Cavs player leaning towards the screen, so you get beat the other way every time. Okay, you switch this screen. That's cool. This is a mismatch, though. Tyrese Maxey, Jared Allen on the perimeter. Okay, so if you're Jared Allen, you got to play up. All right, there's no place for Maxey to go. If he comes this way, there's help right here. Same thing here. Why is Jared Allen playing off? Why does he always love to do that? Terrible close-up by Danny Green. You do not just get to your man here. Okay, look at this closeout by Danny Green on this pass. You're gambling. What? Now you got to, you're not here. <laughs> God, now you're going to get beat. 
right? If you're doubling at the rim, you better rotate. So here comes the help at the rim. This player has to sink down and help the helper. On this kickout pass, Darius Garland can't be looking at the ball. I don't know why he's looking at the ball. You got to be out and ready to rotate here, and Danny Green's going to go here, okay? That's how, that's how it goes. But, I mean, you know, <laughs> not how it goes for the Cavs. Again, you have Darius Garland that's moving in. Why is Jared Allen playing off? Get up. Force him into this help, okay? I can stunt. I can recover. But you have help here. Please allow it to work. Like, what? Stop doing this. So a double team comes on Joel Embiid. Once he gives this ball up, there's no time to rest if you're Jared Allen. He just gave the ball up. So if you're Jared Allen, initiate contact. Battle for real estate. So much about Embiid and in the post is where he catches it. You're getting comfortable. You're doing nothing. Look at, jo you're letting Joel Embiid catch the ball too low. Cavs come to trap Joel Embiid. That's fine, but you got to trap the right way. Donovan Mitchell's got to close this area off. Jared Allen's got to get way up here. You can't, when you trap, if this player turns the corner on a trap, you are finished. This is a horrible cat trap by the Cavs. What? 